Yo, those good boys. Uh, this is, I'm making this video on a whim, so this idea isn't even fully fleshed out. There's a dog here. Jump up. You should jump up. You should jump up. Jump up. Jump here. Jump here. You should jump. There you go. Hello. Look at that. See, there's a dog here. Uh, look at that butter dog. There's also a cat right there. Look at that. There's a cat. I got a cat. What's up, cat? So, um... Oh, right, yeah, okay, so what I was supposed to be, so, um, today we're talking about TikTok valleys. We're talking about, uh, we're talking about the valleys you could use on TikTok. Uh, why are we doing this? Um, because I got a TikTok, that's why. And I got it so I could be like, dude, TikTok's really good for, like, you know, gaining followers and exposure and whatever. Uh, and I'm so fucking late to that party. To be fully honest with you, I might have been able to, to, to ride some of that cloud if I just stopped being so fucking stubborn. Uh, cause I should have known that I was gonna fucking throw away my dignity. Anyways, okay, so, sorry, we're a minute in and I haven't fucking talked about anything yet. So, uh, these are the values that you could actively flip on TikTok. Pretty much, to my knowledge, these are like... The only things, and then, you know, like other fucking 3D prints. I basically have this one to cover the 3D printed shit. I have this one to cover itself and, like, other shitty plastic valleys. And then I have this to have, like, the high echelon of what you can flip on TikTok. Because I think, like, well, one, I'm not going to count people who have, like, the professionals tag. Because... I'm pretty sure you can flip live blades if you have that, but I could be wrong, so don't fucking quote me on that. Uh, but, however, I do know that they can flip just, like, normal trainers, which is a pretty big step up, considering, uh, you know, this is the, like, only metal one that you can really use on there. Because, you know, funny smiley face. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go on the list. Uh, let's go in, uh... Range, we'll, we'll, we're going in order, sorry, we're going to go in order of price range. So we're going to start with the funny carrot. Um, I bought this bitch on Amazon. Uh, I got two of them for $8. So, um, they're cheap, cheap. They're like hella cheap. Um, but you know what's crazy about this? That's like, unlike other cheap valleys is I unironically and i mean this with like full honesty with with zero like ironic funny haha zero sarcasm i think these are so much fun fuck sorry i was trying to show off that you could actually flip it like i swear it's not actually garbage it just takes a minute to get used to I also didn't want to talk because I don't know how loud this is, like, with my voice. I don't think it's the level of, like, BB Barfly to where, like, if I talk while flipping, you know, it would just totally fucking cut out the audio. Um, but, you know, this is pretty, pretty loud. There's your sound test, so, yeah. Um, it's not bouncy at all, obviously, but um, it's cheap. It, it That's just the main thing. Uh, there's also a mini version of these, but, you know, obviously you're not going to really be able to flip that. Uh, I'm honestly surprised that this even flips, because um, I thought... When I was buying this, I, I totally thought it was going to suck. I thought it was going to be the worst fucking thing possible. But uh, I am pleasantly surprised. So, yeah. Legitimately, if you're already a flipper, I would say why not? These are pretty fun. Like, I honestly think these are, like, almost more fun than an OG Squiddy. And arguably a little better at flipping. Like, still handle bias, but, like, 
Look at that. It swings so much more neutral than like other plastic ballets. And it doesn't even have like a, a weight in the blade or anything. It looks like a funny carrot. So. Yeah. Um, carrot ballet. Uh, if you're interested in it, uh, just look up 3D printed ballet song on Amazon and you'll find it. Uh, I think the one that I bought was um, Zabies or Zabies. Z-A-B-E-E-S. Uh, no, don't ask me for a link. I'm not going to send it. Um, next, uh, in the 3D printed category... Oh, the cat's doing her thing. Um, sorry. So, the 3D printed category for the represent representation, for the representatives, the representative of the 3D printed Balasong category um, is the Flipping Flies Dragonfly. Uh, yes, I will have a video on this. Uh, I just don't have it yet because I just need a little more time because it's definitely interesting. I got a lot of pros and cons about it, but, you know, whatever. Point is, I can flip this on TikTok because uh, they see this and it's fucking close enough to just being a squiddy. So, yeah. Uh, most 3D printed valleys I'm pretty sure are cool on Insta. Uh, just in case, I would say just, you know... Stick to bright colors, because then almost guaranteed that you'll be fine. Um, it's like Nerf guns type shit, so, yeah. But, uh, this is pretty cool. I honestly, I'm gonna I'm be so deadass. I don't remember how much uh, Fly is charging for these. Uh, but that's fine, because this isn't the review. So, go fuck yourself. I don't know what to tell you. Um... Just to give you short opinions, though, this thing's really fucking cool. Um, like, I haven't touched any of the weights or anything, because I just like how it, like, it is with all the weights in it. I think it, it has all the weights in it. Whatever fucking configuration he sent it in is how I like it. It flips really good. Um, I'm a big fan of how it flips. It's a little funky, because the blade bends, but the handles don't. Ugh. No, cat. Don't take my flipping flies, um, dragon fly. I need that for my review. Or my, fuck, not my review, my video. Oh, bye cat. The cat just scurried off. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. I do remember what I was saying. The, the weights, the weights are cool. Uh, but it's funky. Uh, I think that's what I was up to, actually. It's a funky little thing because... If you hold it, right, and you just kind of whoop, and then it just, it, it bends. It's a little strange. Like, even the fucking hand, look at that shit. What is that? It's doing a whole fucking helix. Not the trick, not the, not the trick helix. Like the, you know, like a, like an actual, like a double helix, like the, So Squiddy, the squid, the aluminum Squiddy is really fucking cool. Um, there's also going to be a video on this eventually, but not right now. Uh, this is my beater uh, aluminum Squiddy. This is uh, number 65 out of 500. I don't think you can see that with like the frame or the shutter speed and the ISO, whatever. Um, just trust me. Just take my word on it. I have no reason to lie about that fucking rats. Uh, 65 out of 500, and then the other one's like 300 something out of 500, but yeah, this is my beater one, and then the other one just kind of chills in the box, I'm selling it to a friend, but yeah, this is going to be going out soon to get bushings installed in it, and I'm thinking about maybe sending it to someone else to get, um, jimping put on it, because I think that would be really fucking cool, um, Fuck, man, I can't flip at all. It's just not working today. Uh, aluminum Squiddy is super fucking good, though. This is, like, the pinnacle of what you could flip on TikTok. If you're trying to get a clip, get a Squiddy. Get an aluminum Squiddy. And it's also cheap. Or, well, cheap. It's cheap for what it is. I think they're priced really well at, like, 80 90 including shipping and tax and whatever. I think they're priced very fairly. I think they flip super good. I think aesthetically they're fucking awesome. 
And I like how, like, now I can have a metal flipper that also isn't too loud. Right? So that's first of all, it's not too loud, obviously, unless you drop it. And then it'll be a little loud, maybe, because it's metal and weighs uh, weight and whatever. But, like, it flips so good, and it's, like, the only thing that you could realistically flip anywhere in public and, like, be fine, and it's not plastic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think the only other exception would be, like, a Mako. And even then, even then the Mako's a little bit not ideal. But, like, this has a funny little smiley face. Look at him. He's a funny little happy smiley face fella. A funny little, funny, happy little fella. He's a happy little guy, right? Okay, I fucking suck. Whatever. Um, I don't know. What the fuck was the point of this video again? Something about fucking TikTok, I think. Dog! Come here. Come here, stoop. Butter dog. Butter dog. Put the butter dog on the... Put the dog. Put in the dog. Come here, dog. Oh, shit. Look at the butter dog. Come here, butter dog. I'm stealing you. Hoorah. What's up, gamer? What's up, little gamer guy? Okay, um, so I totally lost my train of thought, and with that, uh, we're gonna call it the end there. Um, dog, what do you think of the funny little, what do you think of this little carrot? It's a funny little carrot fella, right? Oh. Damn, man, you're gonna sigh at me too? That's kind of fucked up. All right, well, um, I guess I'll finish by giving you, like, some ratings and shit. The Funny Carrot Knife, I would give, like, a 8 or a 9 out of 10. It sucks, but I fucking love it. Uh, in general, like, if I didn't have a biased personal opinion, I would probably give this, like, a 5. It's just average at best, and really the only reason it's average is because the price is so low. Um, I'm just a fucking idiot, and I like stupid shit, so... I'm a big fan of this. I don't think most people will like it, but I really like it. Um, the Flipping Flies Dragonfly. Uh, you're going to get cucked. I'm not giving you an answer. So I'm going to give you my general answer for 3D printed ballys. And in general, I would give 3D printed ballys a score of about like 6 out of 10. They're like just slightly above average to the point where I can do what I want to do on them. But uh, I'm not going to exactly have the best time doing it. It just kind of does what I need it to do. Um... So yeah, in general, I would give them about a 6 out of 10. I would give this a little bit higher, though, because it, you know, has weight and whatever, uh, and other reasons, but you're not going to exactly know what kind of score I would give this until the review comes out, so go fuck yourselves. Um, aluminum Squiddy, uh, yeah, I don't even have, like, a general, like, answer I could give you, so, you know, without just straight up telling you what I think about the Aluminum Squiddy, so... Yeah, uh, I guess uh, be excited for the aluminum squiddy review. Whoa, oh my god! Whoa, we will walk. Um, and then you know, yeah, that's it. I don't know. I'll, I'll be making the video in a while. I'm gonna be getting bushings installed in it first, and again, maybe jimping. We'll see. Uh, but after that, there will be a video because I want full experience of the Squiddy and whatever and see exactly what it has to offer. Maybe it'll be still worth it with bushings and whatever. Blah, 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 blah. I'm done talking. Thanks for watching this video. It fucking sucked. Butter Dog's staring at me because she's fucking scared for her life. And I don't really blame her. I'd be scared of me too if I wasn't me. Change that. I am. Anyways, that's about it from, from me, boys. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications, guys. And hit the hit the like button. And make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, leave a comment too, tell me what you thought of this video, dude, and then, um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments, guys. Make sure you smash a like, and leave a comment, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, dude, hit that subscribe button with all of your might, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can have all the notifications for when I